Hello there. In this video, I'm going to be t showing you how to solve this particular issue with Eclipse. If you were to boot up Eclipse and you have this Java has restarted but returned exit code 13, and you're just wondering why and you want to solve it, well, this is how you could do so. Now, the first thing you're going to want to do is go to this particular folder. Now, the, how you get here is you first click on My Computer or anything like that. You go to your C drive. Then you're going to look for the Program Files folder. Click on that. Now you're looking for a folder called Java. Now, this is assuming you do have Java installed because that could very well be the issue. Assuming you do have Java installed but you're still getting this problem, um, just click on the Java folder. Now you either have Java 6, Java 7, or maybe some other kind of Java. For this one, I'm going to be using Java 6. You can use, you can use any of them, doesn't really matter. Just, it's like personal choice. So I'm, I'm just going to double click on the Java 6 folder. Then we're going to click on the bin folder within it. Now we're going to be looking for Java W. And if you know, if you can find the, this little thing right here, Java W, then you're all set. Next thing we're going to be doing is going to the address above this this um, folder right here. Just click here, and you're going to be given an, an exact address directly to this folder. And all you have to do is copy this, so copy, and just keep that copied. Now the next thing we want to do is go to where your Eclipse is installed. And this could be in several different places, but if you installed it normally, it could be in your Programs folder or anything like that. Going to mine, which I installed in a different location, I installed it in my documents. Now, if you open up your Eclipse folder, if you can find it, um, you'll be given a bunch of stuff like this. Now, the first thing you want to do is go to go and find this file right here. It's it could be um, titled a lot of things. Basically, it's it's a, it has this kind of icon. It's a construction or a configuration file. So just right click on this file and click edit. And something should open up in Notepad. I'm just going to make this smaller so you can see it. Okay, there we go. Now that you have this folder opened up, the, the first thing you're going to want to do is find the word VMARGS. So um, once you find that, you want to kind of press Enter above it so you can just get it to be a bit lower. Now you want to go just above the, the word VMARGS and you want to paste in the address that you just copied. Paste in that address. Now the first thing you want to do is type in dash vm. Then you want to go to your little to the address that you made and replace all of the the bracket or not the brackets but the um, slashes to the left and replace them with slashes to the right. So we're, some, we're just going to be going through this entire address, replacing that with um, slashes to the right. Now at the very end of this little address that we copied, we're going to type another slash to the right. Then we will type java w.exe. And now you're just going to press save. So we're going to save this file, file, save. Now if I were to test out booting up Eclipse, it would, yeah, it's actually working now. So I hope this helped you. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. I'll, I'll probably answer your questions pretty quickly. And I do hope you're having a fantastic day. Also, a side note, it's very important that this VM address right here is above the VM args down here. If it's below it, it you're going to have some problems. It's going to be the, it's probably going to say something like failed to create Java virtual machine. Okay, so just have the VM address, all of the stuff that we typed above VM args.